If your dryer is only blowing cold air, it's time to get the heating element changed. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do it yourself on keeping home up. We'll unplug it first, then we'll take the top off. There are two screws here and here. You just take those out and then you slide the top towards you to get it off. There are four screws that need to come out along the top. Two of them are on the plastic panel there on the top. And then there are two that are in a metal piece. So you take all four of those out. Once those screws are out, the front panel will just pop off. Just like that. I'm gonna put this right here for now. Once that panel's out of the way, there are two screws right there by the dryer opening that need to come out. And then there's two on the top. And there's my son, Davis, wondering what's going on. One on the left and one on the right. Those two on the top need to come out. Once the top ones are out, we'll move to the bottom. And there are a couple on the bottom that need to come out right there where I'm pointing. And then there's one on the other side as well, right there. So we'll take those out. And when those screws are gone, that front door should just pop right off. Next, disconnect that plug that's between the door and the dryer itself. And then you can just set that door aside for right now. There may be a plastic zip tie there holding some wires together. If there is, you'll wanna snip that zip tie off. And there's a plug there holding the front panel to the dryer. Once you take that out, you'll be able to take that panel right off. We're not done with the plugs yet. Back at the dryer, there's another plug that goes to a little light in the front here. And you'll wanna take that off because we're gonna take this panel off as well, starting with the screws on the bottom. So there are two along the bottom here. And there are two other screws along the top here that will need to come out as well in order for us to get that panel off. And once those are gone, that panel will come off easily. And in the corner, you'll notice there is a little wire in the corner, but we're gonna leave that. We don't need to do anything with that. So I'm just gonna set this aside down here next to the dryer and keep working. There is a belt behind that barrel. You'll just need to reach back there and feel for the belt and release it from two gears that are behind it. Now here's what the gears look like, just so you know. And that's what you're feeling for. You're taking the belt off of those gears. And then once it's off, you can put the belt aside and pull the entire barrel out. I'm just gonna drop that. So it's actually pretty easy to do. Just put that aside for now. Look how dirty and gross the inside is. I love taking a part like this because you can go in and clean it out. I take a compressor and I blow it in there and blow all that crap out and I clean it up real nice so that it's almost new again. And if you'll notice right here in the corner, this is the heating element. This is what we're gonna be taking out. Now you'll be able to see this. There are some wires on the side. You just need to pull those out so we can take this element out. And then we'll need to take a screwdriver and there are two screws on the inside there that we'll need to take out. And this metal piece here, you can actually bend that back while you do this, but be careful when you take those out, do not cut yourself on that heating element because you could easily do that. Now on the back of the heating element, there's another screw. See the one I'm pointing to there? That's on the back. That will need to come out as well. Now I found the easiest thing to use on this is just a tiny screwdriver. Now, if you have a fancy screwdriver that bends, you can do that as well. Notice the little wire I just took out. As soon as I took that wire piece off, I pulled it out, and then I just had to take these pieces off just with the screwdriver. So I unscrewed both parts, and then I was able to take the element out, and we can put the new one back in. Here's the new heating element in my hands here. I'll leave a link in the description for you where I got it to make it easy. I ordered it on Amazon and got it pretty quick. And we put it back in the same way we took the other one out. We'll start with these wires on the side and then we'll wanna plug the little gray wires back in. And I paid attention to which ones went where. So you can just take a look at this picture and see which ones to put where. And then we just put the heating element back in, put that screw in that's in the back 
and I just used the little screwdriver. It would be easier if you had a screwdriver that would bend. And the last thing we need to do is put in those two screws in the front. And remember, when you're working with this heating element, you need to be super careful not to cut yourself. Oh, one more thing. Don't forget that little wire on the side there. You'll need to connect that. Now take a look at this belt. On one side, it looks like this. On the other side, it looks like this. So one side is smooth and the other side has ridges on it. The ridges need to go towards you when you put it on these wheels. You'll be doing this blind because you'll be doing it after the barrel goes on, but that's what it's supposed to look like. You'll wrap it around the gears like that and then the rest of it will go around the entire barrel. And the easiest way to do this is to put it around the barrel first. So you see there, I have the belt around the barrel. And so you just put the barrel in and then you feel for those gears in back. Okay, when you put it on, it's easier to put it around that smaller wheel first and then the longer one. Okay, now we'll just continue to put the rest of it back together. You'll notice we never took that wire off. We just left it to the side there. So we'll put this panel back on and there's a piece on here along the top that kind of slides into that panel. So you'll want to slide that in and then put all the screws in. Now it's time to plug two things in here. First we'll plug that front panel in. And then we'll plug that little light in that was in the front. To be honest, I really don't know what that is. Probably a buzzer. If you know what it is, let me know in the comments. Time for the door. We'll plug that in too and pop it back on. Then you put the screws back in. Remember there are two on the top and two on the bottom. And we also don't want to forget the two by the round door here. Now that the front's on, we can put the panel back on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slide those in first. See how it just snapped into place? And there are four screws up top. You'll see the two here that I'm screwing in now. And then there are two more that go into the plastic piece. You didn't see this piece before. This is a little plastic piece. It's kind of an insulation piece when it gets really hot that it kind of protects the barrel. We are in the home stretch. Now we just put the top on and there are, of course, the two screws that go on the top there. And then just plug it back in and hook it up and you're good to go. You have successfully replaced the heating element. Way to go. That is for a Frigidaire dryer. Hopefully this helped you out. Please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll see you in the next video.